This video will show you how to design images using our data sources. Data sources can include any API, RSS feed, CSV file, or Google Sheets. So I'll start by just dragging an image in uh, for the background. And you can see the canvas loads here. Now I've already added my data source. Um, in this instance, I used a CSV file um, with a product list. Um, there was a product lookup um, as column A. And based off that lookup field, um, I'll be able to pull in a lot of other information from that CSV file. Um, so I'll go to my file here called AB Shoes, and I'll start by adding the shoe image. So here's the shoe image. Um, I can position it, resize it however I like. In this case, I'll put it on the right hand side there. Um, I can also come in here and add the price. So I also want to include that. So I can position this to the left hand side. Um, of course, I'm going to add the dollar sign in front. Um, under font options, I'm also going to turn this kind of a darker color. I'm going to align it in the top left. Even go and change my font. Under file options here, um, I can see the two decimal places, and for this one, I'm going to change to zero, so it's just showing the price. Now, I've created this look here where I have a dynamic image and um, the price being pulled in from a data source, um, but I also want to add a little bit of an effect here. So I'm actually going to drag in another image, a static image, that adds this line. So you'll see, I can toggle this on and off, and you can see how that looks. Now from here, I'm also going to add some static text to the top, just telling the people what they're looking at. In this instance, right, we have an abandoned shopping cart. Tell them that we save this for them. Drop the font size down. Um, maybe go medium font here. And I'll position this um, to the left. So very quickly, I was able to do this. Um, by pulling in the image and the price um, from a data source. Now when I upload the data source, um, as I mentioned, column A has a lookup field. So if I go to preview, it's asking for just a lookup field. And as I change this, you can see the image itself will pull in the new price and the new product image. Very quick, very simple to do. Um, and when I save this, From my abandoned shopping cart, you can see the one merge tag I'll have to pass in is the product ID. So one variable from your ESP, and everyone will get a unique image showing the price and product that they purchased or abandoned. Now keep in mind that this example um, is pulling from a CSV file, um, but you can use APIs, right? So you can pull in real-time stock prices, real-time sports scores, um, real-time offers that you guys are offering on your website. Um, any information that's available through an API, uh, RSS feed, um, can be pulled and updated each time the image is opened. If you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, at support at niftyimages.com.